Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna tie it all together and we're going to do full pitch adjustments. So full beat matching. We're still gonna use two of the same song uh, that are the same BPM because they're the same song, but we're gonna change the tempo of one song and then beat match the other song to it using full pitch adjustments. So by full pitch adjustments, I mean we're actually going to adjust the pitch or the tempo fader. On turntables, it's called a pitch control, uh, but it's on here, it's called a tempo fader, same thing. You're adjusting the pitch, the tempo, the speed. So we are going to make our manual adjustments and then one, once we figure out where it needs to be, then we're going to start moving the tempo fader. Now in order to do this exercise, you're going to have to have some pieces of paper. Um, cardstock works really good, especially for this controller to have something thick, otherwise just fold a piece of paper so you can't see through it. Uh, and we are going to cover our screens so we don't see the tempo. We also aren't going to look at our laptop. So if you have your laptop in front of you, cover it with a piece of paper or just put it to the side so you don't see it. We also need one folded in half. Okay, so I just cut a strip of cardstock and then I fold it in half. This is for the tempo fader. The reason why is because we're gonna change the tempo but we don't wanna be able to look at it. We don't wanna know where the tempo slider is, the pitch slider, so uh, we're gonna cover it, right? So uh, right now, both these tracks are 115 BPM. Uh, and we can see that in the software right here. They're both 115, they're both set in the middle, right? Okay, uh, but I'm going to change this. So when you're doing it yourself, don't look, kind of look away and then sort of change, uh, you know, move the slider back and forth just so you kind of don't know where you are, okay? So I'm gonna change it and then I'm just gonna cover it with the paper. Did you look? Don't you? <laughs> okay, so now I can't see. Don't know where it is. Uh, so now I'm going to just fully be using my ears and um, we're going to be trying this out over and over on this side. So we're gonna play this track and then we're gonna be dropping this in uh, over and over to try to get it on beat and making adjustments as we go. So I'm just gonna start. Uh, and the first thing you wanna do is assess, okay? So you're going to just drop this track in. You can either use the button or the baby scratch, which, whatever is most comfortable for you, and just kind of assess where you are. Okay, it's definitely off, right? Uh, but uh, now I gotta figure out, is it too fast or too slow? I'm kind of listening, got my headphones on, turn the volume. All right. I think it's too slow, but if you're not sure, just uh, stop it, get it back to the beginning. You got your cue points set up or whatever, uh, so you don't need to look at the laptop. Um, and then, uh, Okay, now I'm hearing it shift slow. I'm experienced so I can hear it shift, but I want you guys to hear it, so listen one more time. Okay, it's slowing down. But if you have no idea, um, just make a move, any move. So let's try it again. Try to speed it up to see if it gets better. And it is, right? I'm having to speed it up a lot, <laughs> uh, but it was getting better, right? So that's what you wanna do. You wanna make a move, any move. Um, and uh, I, so I assessed it, I thought it was too slow, and then I acted on it. Now, if I made the wrong choice, then I would know to, um, you know, it's, uh, speeding it up was the wrong choice, so then slowing it down. But at least that gives you more information to go on. You have to make an educated guess, and then you move from there. Uh, if it's the wrong choice, it's the wrong choice, but now you know the right choice. So, but we made the right choice. We thought it was too slow, we sped it up, and it got better. So I'm gonna keep playing this track. Now, before uh, I actually try to test this again, I'm gonna make an educated guess now on the tempo fader, the tempo slider. So I'm just gonna move it up, or, or back rather, uh, to speed it up. So I thought it was drastically slower than this one. 
So I wouldn't want to just make a tiny little move and leave it there, you know? I'd want to actually make a bigger jump. So I'm going to go up like, I don't know, two, two and a half notches and go from there. So I'm going to start this back up again and test it. I'm assessing, let's see, I'm going to make a move. It's still too slow because I'm speeding it up and it got better. Oh wait, now what if you don't know? Like you sped it up too much? See if it catches back up again, which it did before, so as I was talking. So here, so for example, here I'm speeding it too, up too much, right? But we learned that in the last one. Listen, see if it catches up again. And there's your flange, and now it's too slow. So there we go, right? So I'm continually having to speed it up. And if you have to keep touching it, that means you have to go to the pitch again. So I'm going to just move it up a little more. And just like this, you don't have to drop it on a main one of a phrase, it could be any one. It's staying on longer, but it's still drifting. Hmm. What if I don't know if it's drifting too fast or too slow? I'm going to make a move. It's still too slow because I'm having to speed it up. Up. Hmm. Was that my mistake? Is it, is it off? Let's see. And what happened just there, I was like, oh, it sounds amazing. And that's because the other song ended. Uh, and it's because I don't have these loop. Um, so I was just playing it by itself. I was like, hmm. Uh, so if that happens, just, uh, you know, cue it back up again and just start from the beginning. Okay. I'm going to make a move. Okay, now, what if you screw it up, right? And you don't know if it's you or if it's the track. Just let it ride and see what happens. It's catching back up again, right? So uh, I sped it up too much. That was my error. And that's going to happen to you too. It happens to everyone. So you just start it over again. Or if you have no idea, just start it over, right? You can always start it over. Okay, I'm gonna try speeding it up. Is it getting better? No, it's getting worse. Let's see if I slow it down. Ooh. Okay, so now we're in a close area and I might be pushing it or pulling it too quickly, right? So I'm going to drop it one more time, make an assessment and then move the pitch. how close we are. Okay, I'm gonna move the pitch slightly, just a little bit. Up. See, now I don't have to continuously do it. I just move it a little bit. Now, if I have to keep doing that, let's test it, let's listen. Right? I have to keep doing it, but we're so close now. It just keeps drifting. So if you have to, you're, you're having to keep touching the jog wheel, go to the pitch control, but only move it a little bit. Don't make a huge jump. And listen. It's staying on for longer. You hear that? So, but I still have to touch it, right? So I'm gonna, it's, I'm still speeding it up, but slightly. So I'm gonna have to just slightly speed it up here. We got our flange effect. And it sounds like it's right on, right? So now you just let it ride and see if it drifts. I 
I think we got it. I think that's on. And you'll know for sure if you actually touch it. Oh, that was too much. So now when you have it right on, you might have to go the other direction with your movement. So I had to slow it down to get it on. That's on. You hear the flange? So there we go. So now let's check it. Okay, so first we're gonna check the tempo slider. So right here, it's around this area right here. So there's like three notches and then a little bit and then it starts. And then here, look, we got it exactly in the same spot. That's pretty on. Now let's check here. Right, well, it's playing 120.8 and 120.8. And then if you look over here in the software, the transients are perfectly lined up and they're both at 120.8. But there you go. You just want to go through the whole track. And I just want you guys to applaud yourselves if you just did that exercise uh, because you just fully beat matched your first two songs or one song, but still you just fully beat matched with full pitch adjustments. It's so exciting, yay. Okay, so if you want to get even more advanced, and learn how to do it a bit quicker than what we just did. Check out the next video.